Hello my friends, my name is Fairy Belle and I'm a book fairy. Today we're going to read a book called The Wheelchair Adventure. If you have this book, you might like to read along at home. This book is also written in Braille. One ordinary Monday morning, Emma, Lachlan, Michael and Sam arrived at school, but something extraordinary was waiting for them. Four wheelchairs stood by the door. Four extraordinary wheelchairs. One, two, three, four. Where did they come from? Sam sat in the first wheelchair. The air around him shimmered and smelled of pancakes and ice cream. Michael sat in the second wheelchair. The air around him shook and smelled of roast chicken and cupcake icing. Emma sat in the third wheelchair. The air around her sparkled and smelled of Vegemite. She stuck out her tongue to see if there was any on her lips, but there was nothing there. And finally, Lachlan sat in the fourth wheelchair. The air around him sparked and smelled of strawberry bubbles. Lachlan knew the wheelchairs must be magical. Each wheelchair had three bumpy buttons. One, two, three. When Emma pressed the first button, she magically appeared on stage at a wiggly concert. When Lachlan, Michael and Sam pressed the first button, they magically appeared at Suncorp Stadium watching Queensland beat New South Wales in the state of origin. When Emma pressed the second button, she went to visit Nanny and Poppy on the Gold Coast. When the boys pressed the second button, Sam and Lachlan landed at Southbank. Lachlan played the drums for the people walking by, while Sam went for a ride on the city cat. But where was Michael? He appeared on the boardwalk at Wynnum and listened to the waves slapping against the side of the stone wall. This gave him a great idea. He pushed the third button and... All the friends were sailing on boats on the harbour. Emma had her life jacket on and chatted to the captain about the warm sun and the blustery wind. Sam squawked like a seagull. And Lachlan let his fingers trail in the water as they glided along. Michael smiled when the wind caught the sail and tipped the boat gently to one side. The air around the four friends shimmered, shook, sparkled and sparked. When the mist cleared, they were back at school. The wheelchairs had gone, but the magic was still there. And there were more adventures to come. Thank you very much for listening to my story. And thank you very much for believing in me. And don't forget, this fairy believes in you too.